Hello and welcome back to the stream. Happy Friday. Welcome in everybody. Um, so we are at Camp Occult today. Um, are my lungs okay? I just heard a pop in my chest. <coughs> that was gross. It was like mucus that like popped in my chest. Ew! I write the pop four. So here at Camp Nicole, we are focusing for right now um, on the girl mermaids. So the mermaids do not have a typical um, cabin like some of the others. They actually have like a grotto, I guess you would call this. Um, and you wanna know it's embarrassing? Melody has not gotten her fin yet. So we have Melody here. I'll be introducing you to the other mermaids as well. Um, but Melody is the only mermaid right now that does not have her, her tail yet. Um, we also have Alina, which if you watch uh, Barbie Mermaidia, you know who she is. Um, however, in this story, she is a teenager and they say she was supposed to be a fairy and they almost put her in with the half-bloods but something happened and she is just straight up a mermaid now um we don't know if she's happy about that or sad about it but she did not get put with the half-bloods because they did not find any trace of her uh fairy magic anymore and it's literally she's just a, a mermaid omg bibble would be so cute Say no more. Oh, Bibble's in the water. Bibble is in the water. <laughs> so cute. Bibble is actually getting in here too. Okay. All right. Bibble, my boy. Not me getting an invite. Uh, decline. Um, it's always so weird when a random person requests to join my live. To talk about, what are we about to talk about? Nami stuck. Oh, Lord. Um, girl, where's your panties? Put your pants on, girl. Put your pants on. Let me bring us into Creative Sim so I can show you the uh, mermaid cabin. Um, tell me why I want to dye my white Pomeranian Husky mix like that now. I don't know where her... There we go. There's her fin. Um, I was going to say, I know she's got pants. So let me show you the mermaid cabin. Um, I love how all of them don't have pants on now because it's like their swimwear. Um, this is Morgana Mermaid. We don't know too much about her, but her traits are she's romantic and she's self-absorbed. Um, water check-in, are we hydrate queens? I could probably do a little bit more water today, not gonna lie. Oh my goodness! Y'all sent some hearts for Alex. She just sent 20 subs towards the goal. Um, the main goal is by the end of the month to hopefully be back at a thousand subs. So thank you so much. Ah, anywho. Um it's Friday night, aquarium night. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Alina. Um, hold up. Is she a young adult? I keep fucking this up. Teen. Let me age her back down. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Megan, for the hand heart. Thank you, Ash, for the heart me. Um, very cutie. Like I said, she used to be a fairy. And she was supposed to be coming to Camp Nicole as a fairy. And something happened to where now she is a mermaid. I'll show you, uh, okay, fine, it's a mermaid stream. I'll drink some water. Here is her mermaid form, very pretty. Am I tripping or is her top not what I put it as? Yes, yeah, sis, put your right top on. Ain't no way I got all this custom content for no reason. Um. I know Sims are all the same height, but she like she looks tall. Yeah, she kind of does like look tall, to be honest. Even though they are all the same height. Um, yeah. Then we have Bibble. 
Is Daiquiri night not aquarium? I thought you meant because of the mermaids. <laughs> Thank you, Jericho, for the TGIF. Um, but yeah, here is Beable. Um, and then here is Jaina. I did not make her. I found her on the gallery and thought she looked so cool. And I just changed a couple things about her. Um, but she is really cute. I did change her mermaid form. Um, so this mermaid form I got, uh, from Pinterest. <laughs> uh, thank you, Megan. Thank you, Jess. So pretty. I want Bibble. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jaina's traits are, she is, I think it's that she's childish and a vegetarian. There's a lot of vegetarian, or goofballs. Goofball and vegetarian. Thank you, Emma, for the hand heart. And it's her first gift. Um, and then we've got Marina. Maybe we wish I was a mermaid. Sis, every single time I go to the beach, I want to be a mermaid. Um, 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 this is Marina. So Marina is definitely the bougiest of our mermaid teens. She knows it's supposed to be camp, but she doesn't give a fuck, okay? She doesn't give a fuck that it's camp. She's still coming uh dress the way she wants to okay and then here is marina's um mermaid form very cutie her hair is stunning and yeah yeah it is her hair is stunning so yeah this is miss marina she is a child of the ocean and she is also high maintenance are her traits oh can y'all even see that what i'm pointing at no you can't okay anyways her traits are high maintenance and child of the ocean. Um, really, really cutie. Um, and then our last mermaid is, okay, Melody. This is Melody. She is Ariel's daughter and they swear up and down, swear up and down that she is a mermaid. However, her tail has not come in yet has not is morgana evil her traits are romantic and oh thank you yo for the jolly the joy bean um her traits are romantic and self-absorbed and her she wants to be a villainous valentine which basically means this sim wants to not basically it means <laughs> this sim wants to destroy the love lives of all sims including their own she's toxic she's toxic hey pixie and pixie boss hi jazz um melody didn't get her tail until morgana gave her one talking about who okay i don't know all this bonus lore um but yeah uh melody does not have a tail right now me and her have the same damn wardrobe <laughs> thank you britter sir for the three hand hearts um so yeah she doesn't have a mermaid form right now because she ain't got her tail sucks to be melody um, my mom said, I can play mermaids if your mom says it's okay. <gasps> Speaking of my mom, my mom gets here tomorrow with, um, sounds historically accurate to me. Yeah, this suddenly starting to sound very historically accurate. Um, my mom and my, not my, the inside of my brassiere showing. Um, my mom and my little sister fly here tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I woke up this morning like, ah, um, weird though. I haven't heard from my mom today, um, but I'm hoping that's fine. Uh, thank you. Wholesome goes for the three hand hearts. Thank you, Pissingy. Like I've seen her flight information and everything. Um, I will say the last time I was supposed to see my mom, she did cancel the week before. Um, so I have had, I was very hesitant to plan this whole thing with her like allow her to like come stay with me and everything just and allow me to get excited for it again because the past couple times it just like never ends up actually happening but i don't think she would cancel on me the day of so i'm just trusting she's getting on the plane tomorrow and i'm gonna see her uh tomorrow and my little sister um yeah thank you missy you thank you court um, can I join the mermaids? My mom says I can. Yes, of course. Um, hard worker, easy friend. Looks like Marina just befriended a hardworking sim. Who? But yeah, I love some good thoughts your way. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Actually, let me try texting my mom again right now while I'm thinking about it. 
be like excited for tomorrow. Um, excited for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited to see Kyla. Um, yeah, I have not seen Kyla since her first birthday, I think, was the last day I saw her. Um, so a long time ago. Are you going to play Dress and Impress after this? No. Um, I'm not. <laughs> not tonight. Sorry. Uh, anyway, so the mermaids are, they're just swimming around, having a great fucking time. It's 1.30 in the morning, um, but, girl, you can put your tail back on. Can I play mermaids too? Of course! Um, okay. You know what, Gracie? You kind of remind me of old school Morgan. This sim cares about being popular. We're talking about Alina. Popularity status. Oh my god, all the teens getting all these little things. Thank you, Megan, for the hand heart. Um, fitness skill acquired. So, even though it's 2 o'clock in the morning, we are about to send them to their first lesson of the day. Um, I'm hoping I have enough time around this episode because I would like to... I kind of hope there's a pool at the Pixie Retreat so we could all play mermaids together. There were so many different houses we looked at. I want to say this one does not have a pool, but it does have hot tubs. I want to say. I also believe, I'm not 100% sure, I believe it has a movie situation. I don't know, don't quote me, because there was, there was a lot of houses we looked at, and I'm trying not to look at pictures of the house too much, because I want to be just, like, shocked when I get there. Um... <clears throat> It has a seasonal pool, but it may not be open yet. Okay, that's what it was. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, there is a movie theater. Yes, there's a movie theater in the house. I remember, like, the dining room set up, too. It's, like, burned into my brain. Um, so as long as there's no raccoon snatching moo-moos. Oh, my God. That was crazy on the retreat I went to. This this girl on the retreat I went to got her moo-moo. She was wearing a moo-moo. She was from Alabama wearing a moo-moo outside. Uh, I think she was vaping or something outside, and a raccoon came up and snatched her moo. When is the retreat? May 8th through 11th. Um, there's so many Megans here right now. We do have hella Megans. Um, so we're gonna be traveling here. Okay, but we're, I'm actually gonna have to move them there. And I wanna see if I can actually fit. I'd like the fairies to go with them too. So, the mermaids and the fairies typically get along well. It's the mermaids and the fairies and other people that don't, like, for example, the mermaids and the fairies don't fuck with the vampires. Okay? Um, love that story. <laughs> oh, my son's birthday is May 8th. Happy very early birthday! Um, the retreat caused a little drama in the McGee house. Why? Um, love it. Don't hear my name a lot where I'm from anymore. Aww. I hear my name all, not Pixie, but Abby, I hear that all the fucking time, everywhere I go. Um, what's I doing? Oh, go to Manage Worlds. I'm gonna try to fit the fairies with us. Actually, let's go over who, are there sirens in the sim? So, the mermaids can do the siren call. Who, are there sirens in the sim? So... The mermaids can do the siren call, which is like drowning sims and stuff. But I don't know if y'all saw in the, uh, while I load up the fairies, I'm gonna still be talking to y'all. I'm gonna just pull up this video that I was playing in the beginning. Uh, this was like the loading screen and you can like read some of the stuff on here. But one of the rules is that they can't, um, use the siren call on other, uh, students and whatever. Oh no, not a time jump. A time jump. Oh my god, thank you, Alex, for sending another 10 subs! Y'all, Alex is killing it on the subs today. Um, so yeah, and then there's some pictures from Camp Nicole right here. Hold on, hold on. Alex! No, literally, Alex is popping off. Um, and it should say the codex thing here in a second. Little bitty lag jump. Oh no. It says... 
The Siren's Call is never to be used on another camp attendee. This is in the Mermaid Codex. Is that how you say that? Codex, yeah. Hopefully it's not lagging too much. Hopefully not. But yeah, that was a loading screen earlier. Um. Anywho, here are the fairies. So there would be another fairy. Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember the um the half bloods, how they had the half alien, half fairy. What was her name? She's so cute. Is her name Teacup? I wanna say. Her name is Teacup, the little half-blood fairy alien. <sighs> so cutie. Anyway, she doesn't get to be with the other fairies because she's a half-blood. Teacup, yes. Yes, Teacup, I love her. Okay, so right here is, I'm going to lower my face again so y'all can see the details on top if you want to. Um, so we have Sapphira, and all their last names are going to say fairy because all the cabins, their last name says what they are. So you can tell if it's a half-blood, if it's a fairy, it's whatever. Um, so we have Sapphira Fairy. Um, Teacup is such a cute name. She's such a cute Sim. Um, her traits are, there's a lot of vegetarians around here. She loves the outdoors, she's a vegetarian. And then we have Vidya. So Vidya is technically dating another camp attendee. His name is Flynn. If you don't watch my other series and you are just here for Camp Occult, um, his name is Flynn. He is a half-blood. And they have had a rocky relationship ever since he did not go to prom with her. So they're featured as teens in my other series that I do. And basically they're dating and he does not go to prom with her based on a promise he made to another girl previously. And he for real does not fucking show up to prom, Okay. Um, hi babies, happy Friday. Happy Friday! Um, almost 100,000 likes. Yes, we're at 97,000 likes! Um, so yeah, Vidya and Flynn are technically still boyfriend and girlfriend, but we have not seen them interact at all together since they've been at Camp Occult. Um, I would bet money that the fairies were the ones who trashed the vampire girl's cabin. Oh, speaking of which, if you missed the announcement, there was a bonus episode of Camp Occult on my lowest tier on Patreon. It's still there um, if you're wanting to watch it. But it's a pretty good episode, I think. It's like a 30-minute long episode of Camp Occult. Um, it has a lot to do with the vampire girls. And basically in that episode, what happens is it starts off at the beginning. The vampire girls' cabin has been sabotaged and there's garlic all around their cabin. Um... And also, thank you, Court, for sending the five subs. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, there's garlic all around the cabin and then a note left on their door. Basically, somebody sabotaged them. And one of the other cabins sabotaged them for ruining the most recent party. And the party ended up being lame because other people didn't want to go with the vampire girls being there because they don't trust the vampire girls to not bite them. Um, so yeah, that's how the episode starts if you're wanting to watch the bonus episode. If not, totally understand. Um, here is Meriwether. She is the professor. She's not one of the attendees, but she is their, like, camp professor. Um, well, I guess Vidya knows Flynn's a half-blood now. Mm-hmm. And she ain't fucking talked to him since. Um, and that's a fact. But yeah, Meriwether is, a uh, uh, our, um, I'm um, professor of the cabin, and, uh, I'm obsessed with her. Y'all, if you're on the P word, you should, absolutely should be. I do love that platform because they make it to where you can, like, keep any content as a creator, for sure. Um, she's so cute, right? Here is Wanda. Wanda's trait, she's a genius, and she's very neat. Um, our next teen fairy, very cute, so cutie. Um, and then we have Wanda. Is Wanda for? Is this Wanda for Fairly Odd Parents? Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> oh my god, I just realized my face is an emoji now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Um, and then we've got the Sugar Plum Fairy. Her traits are mean and self-assured. 
Is there a Cosmo in the boys? There might be. We shall see when we have more boy episodes. I'm very... So we'll see. I believe I have it scheduled for the boy fairies are on the same episode that we see the boy vampires. The boy vampires, bro. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so yeah, Sugar Plum Fairy. And that is uh, our fairy cabin. 100 out of 10 on the characters in their office. No notes. Thank you. Okay, so from the ones that you can see so far. So this, it says Draculaura. This is not accurate. In fact, just ignore this because this is kind of like a few characters I still need to sort into their cabins. But from the cabins we can see right now, which one would you want to be in? Okay, Flynn is also in the wrong one right this second. Don't mind that. But we got the boy half-bloods. We've got the girl half blood or the girl uh, vampires. Campical vamps. I need to do. Uh, vamp girl cabin. And move Flynn over to his. Hold on. Hold on. Camp Occult requires a lot of moving people around. I will tell you that much. Um, thank you, Chloe, for the heart me. So anyways, we got the vamp girl cabin. We've got the boy half-bloods. The fairy cabin. We've got the mermaid cabin. The alien girls cabin. Um, and then there's the girl half-bloods. So far. So far. I volunteer as tribute to be the only girl in the boy half-bloods cabin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I wonder if Kitalina or Court or Neon or Tommy ever went to camp when they were teens. Well, you know it's possible because thank you, Ren, for sending five subs. Thank you, our sub queen. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's possible because Siley is here. Siley is here from that same realm. Uh, so, you know, um... Destiny, is it your birthday? Destiny, is it your birthday today? Just stopping by super late because of driving. You're 30 minutes late, but thank you for stopping by. You're not as late as you might have thought. I didn't start at 8, is what I mean. Happy birthday, Destiny. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday. There are three birthdays in the... Where's my Discord? Hold on. We're pausing everything. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I can do what I want. <laughs> um, It's Destiny's birthday, Tana's birthday, and Kessa's birthday. Happy birthday, bad bitches. It is me and, uh, I would say I have a birthday twin too. It's Aria. I'm pretty sure it's Aria, the same birthday as me. And we have a lot of, like, birthday twins and triplets in here. Happy birthday to y'all. Y'all are Libras too, right? Libra season has started, right? It's not still Virgo. Are we in Libra season yet? I'm a Libra. But I know there's a lot of October Libras too. What day starts Libra? Yes. Happy birthday. Not quite yet. Virgo still. Oh, Starts today, tomorrow. Libra starts September 24th. Oh! I was gonna say happy birthday, my fellow Libra bitches. Happy birthday, my baddie Virgo bitches. <laughs> but for real, happy birthday, y'all. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I'm honored that you're here in my live on your birthday. Um. Anywho, I don't know which cabin... Okay, I'm kind of torn. I think it's badass that the mermaids have, like, a lagoon as their fucking cabin. Um, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Ren. The girl half-bloods kind of call to me a little bit. Look at Teacup. I love Teacup. Oh, I don't know why she has sunglasses on right there. Just checking in. Hi, Chantel. My hubby's birthday was the 4th and my dad's is today. So many September birthdays. There, I think September is the most common birth month. I don't know why. I think it may be people like to fuck around Christmas and New Year's. I'm not sure. Um, Melody has to sleep on the beach. No, literally. Because New Year's. It is. 
Yeah, I guess New Year's, like, people are getting wasted, and then, uh, um, no, because of Valentine's Day. But isn't it, isn't, it, like, if you were born in September, you were conceived in, like, December, January time frame? Um, I was a New Year's Eve baby per my mom. I was a teen pregnancy, uh, which is so crazy. I just want to say, I've been going to the post office, and I have never had i haven't started opening any of my packages yet for my birthday but i will say i have never been celebrated like this like nobody's ever celebrated me being alive like this like not even when my mom had a baby shower nobody wanted to come to the baby shower to celebrate me being born because my mom was 16 and pregnant so nobody even came to the baby shower for like me coming into the world and then or look my also my first birthday like even my mom's dad was like no you're done go fuck yourself basically um so i've never had like my life celebrated like this until this year and it's just so crazy i mean i've had i've had great birthdays before like going out to eat to nice places and y'all know i was married and like my husband would do nice things for me and things like that um last year my friend ellie texted me and asked like what i wanted for my birthday and she got me the one thing i got for my birthday last year which was fourth wing i texted her back and i was like i really want to read this book fourth wing and she was like i'll get that for you don't let anybody else get it for you and i was like well nobody else is gonna give me anything but she got me fourth wing and i have cherished cherished the fuck out of that book um i literally wrote your birthday on my calendar it's so sweet i'm glad you're getting this one that you deserve it's just i'm just saying it's crazy this is definitely the Best birthday I've ever had already, and it's not even my birthday yet, and I just feel really special, so thank you guys. And I wish I could make y'all's birthday that special. I just don't even know. I wish I could find, like, a better way to say thank you. I just don't even have the words for it. Um, anyways, the girl half-bloods kind of calls to me. I don't know what cabin I would be in. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I would fit in with the alien girls. They're smart as shit. They just seem very STEM-oriented. I'm so excited to celebrate with you. Aww, that hurts my heart so bad, but I mean, it's fine. I don't remember being in the womb. <laughs> I don't remember. Your birthday is on my calendar on repeat. Aww, I want to be a girl half blood. See, yeah, I think I would maybe be a half blood or a vampire. The vampire girls, I love how close they are with each other. And they're also edgy. Which group is socially awkward, anxious, and sarcastic? That'd probably be the half bloods. But also, like, the vampire girls seem cool as shit. The fairies, in theory, would be fun. Um, half-blood of what? Ooh, which half would I be? I think it's kind of badass how Wolfie looks with her half-vampire, half- I have to sneeze. (coughs) I think there's a second one. Maybe not. The way my body just assaulted my nose just now. Woo! Lord! Um. Bless you. Thank you. 10 out of 10 sneeze. Yeah, I don't know. But the mermaids are cool as fuck, too. First of all, they have Bibble. And second of all, oh, I saw Amanda just joined. <laughs> uh, they have Bibble. And also, like, they have the whole grotto thing going on. Anywho, let's get them over to... Fuck, I don't even know if I actually have time for this. We might have to take them to their class next episode. We did show the vampires and the uh, mermaids, but dare I say we need to switch over to the vampire girls. We need to switch over to the vampire girls. Yeah, yeah, we do. Sorry. (laughs) Change of plans. What is Bibble? It's from a movie. It's from one of the Barbie movies. The Barbie, uh, Fairytopia Mermaidia movies. I got you to bond back. I'm glad you're back. Bye, mermaids! Yeah, bye, mermaids. Hope you find your dad. Um, that's a reference from Elf, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, what was I about to say? Don't fucking know. Anyways. Anywho. Oh, I can put my face up now. Bye, buddy. Hope you found your dad. I did a whole college presentation on Elf. Really? And said what? <gasps> Wait. 
I can turn up. Hold on. I'm fucking with something really quick. I'm fucking with something. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Narwhal. <laughs> My favorite part of that movie. Thank you, Hannah. My favorite part of the movie is when the phone's ringing and it's basically like this. Uh, okay, Twyla. Um, the phone's ringing. He's in an office, right? Like a big business office. He goes, gotta go, y'all. Catch up on YouTube. Bye, Tommy. Love you. Good night. Um, he answers the phone. He's like, Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? <laughs> I think it's so funny. Uh, Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Forest Fairy, River Mermaid, Half Blood is why I think I would want. Ooh, that eats. That eats. Okay, so Flynn is still here even though I put him out of the household. I don't know what he's doing with this frog right now. Um, thank you, Selena, for the rose. Um, oh shit. Hold on. We gotta get rid of this. Uh, we gotta get rid of all this garlic really quick. I forgot to do the cleanup on this. Hold on. We're gonna... This is what these bitches... We don't know who did this, but this is what they did to the cabin. There's garlic that stinks literally everywhere around the cabin look at it all this stinking oozing garlic pixie pops i have never seen an elf oh it's funny well i'm not gonna say it's like it's not as funny as like the movie like for me what's the funniest movie i've ever seen i don't even fucking know it's good i like it it's a christmas movie so don't watch it unless it's christmas time it's not gonna have the same effect but Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I hadn't watched Elf until I was an adult. Um, but once I watched it, I was like, ah, I see the hype. <laughs> I get it. Let me click G to get rid of those lines. Every time I say, or not every time, but a couple times where I've been like, I'm getting rid of the lines. People are like, it's a grid. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Al, for the hand hearts. Um... Okay, I think I got rid of all the garlic everywhere. Uh, it was actually the boy Half-Bloods that got rid of all the garlic. Hee 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 hee. Um, <clears throat> we are a blended family and incorporated some stepbrother quotes. I love that movie. I also love Superbad. Um, thank you, Kelsey, for the heart meat. Thank you, Bridgerton, for the hand heart. Um, is a grid not lines? Okay. No, literally, I'll be like, yeah, I know it's a fucking grid, but I, it's lines on the thing. You know, sometimes I just, I'm nice. I'm nice. I am a nice person. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Court, for the last hair and heart needed for the goal. Love super bad is a good one. Here is Karma. So all the other girlies have been, everybody at the camp has been getting, uh, letters but she hasn't got any she's gonna try one more time to come check and see if she's gotten any letters um and it looks like there's a huge package up here among a whole stack of letters right here so we're gonna go and look and see if any of them are for her um because so far she's been the only fucking person at camp to not get any Thank you, Chitty, for the rosy, the rose bean, and Core for the rocky, the rock bean. And, uh, we do have not only just this letter, there's so many letters that we can't even fucking go through, okay? Um, I might post some of the written out letters on Patreon later, but just know she's got fucking mail, okay? Thank you, Jenny! Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up a new goal really quickly, just really quick like, um, so yeah, it says Dear Karma, um, and they're just hella fucking letters from, like, everybody, um, in her life, okay, uh, and she's just like, wow, that's super fucking nice, um, for everybody, like literally all her family members, everybody to be sending her letters. So she thinks. Little does she know that somebody has been over here keeping this fucking journal. He wrote every single one of those. 
Flynn, he was so sick about it that instead of doing the party that night, he stayed inside the cabin the entire night, riding all the fuck. Look how happy he is with himself right now! As she's going to go get all the freaking letters. He's over here smiling, looking at his notebook! <gasps> Wait, why is that so cute? Why is that so cute? Thank you, Tina, for the smart beam. Um, and now if you go back and look at the handwriting on the letter, dear karma. Oh my goodness. So cutie of him with his little, with his little, uh, notebook. <sighs> Just so adorable. So freaking adorable! <laughs> I'm sorry, that is just so cute. Meanwhile, though, now she's all happy has her letters. Great. She wants to ask this boy on a date. So, in the bonus episode, she had a little moment with this guy. He's actually in the alien, um... The alien cabin he's also a rebel he's a rebel alien boy she is very attracted to him they have terrible compatibility um oh no i'm missing my fiance wanted to wash cars wash cars at this hour um so yeah karma is wanting to go on a date with trivet now trivet is really really cute really really adorable um I can't understand how Doris is ignoring her, too. I don't think Doris is ignoring her so much as, like, giving her space. Like, I just don't think Karma is close. Karma doesn't have that same relationship with Doris that Stethoscope does. Um, like, I don't really even think... Like, I don't think Doris is doing it in a mean way towards Karma. Um, me Googling what a trivet is... <laughs> I turned my nose up at this boy. She likes him a lot, though. Thank you, Bubba, for the heart me. Um, but even Reba, I mean... Okay, now, I don't think Reba's ignoring her either. I think Reba is also giving her some time and some space because, remember, Reba was ready... Or not Reba. Karma was ready uh, to get the fuck up out of there. And she's really happy with her space and everything. I think Reba's not trying to piss her off. Because remember, Karma was literally aggravated as fuck with them. Um, Doris is using her experience with Reba with Karma. Yeah, Karma and Reba are very similar. Um, and I think Reba knows that as well. Um, look at our little vampire girls. I love Versailles or Siley's bedtime wear. It's so cute! So freaking cute! Does Karma's family know she's at camp? Yeah. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. It was like this whole big thing whenever they had the ball for her that they were talking about she was going to camp, that she was in, uh, 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 got accepted as a vampire. And Stethoscope is also there. Um, I'm gonna get... Siley to come over here and work on her mural. So cute. How long do the aliens live? Similar to humans. Not like the vampires living for fucking forever. That's something that Karma needs to go ahead and wrap her head around though. So yeah, that's another thing. Trivet, if her and Trivet like in a falling in love at camp, let's just say, first of all, what are you doing here, girl? You don't have a reflection. Dracula, I don't know what you're doing. Um, anyways, let's say Karma falls in love with Trivet at camp. And they get married and whatever. He's gonna age! And she's not. But at the same time, like, Karma's still a teenager. So I don't think she's really thinking about forever and ever and ever right now. Um, and I think she just, like, she is attracted to this boy. She also, like, in the bonus episode... They were, like, playing, um, what is this, ping, beer pong? They were playing ping pong 
with each other and she was literally just like having fun and she thought he's really cute and whatever um is Flynn gonna age since he's a half-blood no no he's not <laughs> Flynn is going to be immortal just like uh karma also Reba is immortal since marrying Hades Hades immortal so like some of our characters that are gonna be around for a very very long time are like karma Reba Flynn like I would dare I say for future series this is almost like a prequel to later on series for the beginning of Reba's marriage karma as a teen Flynn as a teen you know how karma and Flynn's families were entwined while their families are young and everything because one day they won't have any family ties you know not to get dark with it uh yeah anywho um so we are going to uh ask him oh wait it's three o'clock in the morning well we're gonna summon him anyways uh because i gotta do it in the middle of the night she's a uh vampire how do we summon him cheats summon trivet thank you jenny for the beating heart um 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 i also love mavis i think she's so cutie i love her little sleepwear too that she's so high they're all still a little stoned from this is like leaving off on the end of the bonus episode um thank you megan for the game controller <laughs> Karma wants to go read something. Where is Trivet? Is he coming or is he not? Uh, focus the camera. Oh, he is coming. He's running to our girl. I'm only that she has a confidence to try and date though. Me too. And she hasn't gotten to do this. Like she was not the girl going out of her way to talk to boys at parties in the human world you know whenever she was going to high school with the other humans she was very awkward at parties except for she kind of like clung to flynn and then at this party flynn she didn't even see flynn at the party that she just went to but she did see trivet uh later on and you know we know the whole time flynn was in the cabin writing letters for her ass but she doesn't know that okay um so let's go talk to trivet one vitamin he 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 i support Kara in this new life of the besties and the new boys i know i love her like making friends her being interested in a boy i wasn't expecting it to be trivet to be honest but now i can kind of see it it was honestly totally unplanned um for her to like trivet and he does kind of give her aesthetic um uh, wait Hold on, hold on. We need to put her in a cute outfit. Pause! Pause! Stop production. He's a cutie. He is cute. He is really cute. Um, okay. Let's give her another little outfit to put on really quick. Just a cutie little top or something to change into. Ooh, this is cute. This is very karma too. This black little top with a zipper in the back yeah 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 she can't ask him in her pjs exactly this is cute too but i kind of i like this i like this um and then she's more of like a shorts girl than okay we'll do a, like a lighter wash shorts i was gonna do um a little skirt but karma is not the type to yeah okay uh just a blue flynn i'm gonna put her in some different shoes like similar but not exactly the same um i might have lied we might just keep her in the same uh shoes but let's paint her nails let's paint her nails Ooh, i like that for her the black and the purple one um change her hair but this is her hair 
Oh my god, I've never even seen Carmen with a different hair. She's had the same hairstyle her whole entire life. Her whole entire life, she's had the same hair. I don't even know what she... That's, this just does not, it doesn't feel like karma. I keep missing lies while I catch up on YouTube. Okay. Holy hell. Her hair does eat. Yeah, I love her, her actual hair, but that looks like pixie hair. It is interesting to see what she looks like with different hairs, but I like her like black and purple hair. You know? Oh my gosh, she looks like Vidya. That makes her look like Vidya for real. That kind of makes her look like red. She's a gorgeous sim. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I can't change her hair yet. Maybe whenever she's older, she'll have a different hairstyle. Uh... But for now, I'm keeping her hair. Thank you, Kayla, for subscribing. Um, I'm keeping her hair. And yeah, let's go talk to Trivet now. Um, they date people that look like each other. No, because Vidya does kind of look like Karma. And Trivet does kind of look like Flynn. Oh, hell. The way I did not even real. Girl, get out your jammies. Get out of your jammies. Okay, put on your new Q top. Yes. Yes. Uh, is this news? Leave me alone. Uh, okay. You know what? The resemblance to Flint. It's like a, it is kind of like a blue Flint a little bit. I don't know what he's so pissed off for. Thank you, Hannah, for all the game controllers. Thank you so much. Uh, Blue Flip, I see it now. I want them to take, like, a little picture. No, it's talking about... If y'all... Okay. If they start talking about prom, just ignore it. Oh, my God. The 9 p.m. sniffles are here. Um, They're not going to prom. I need to re-download the mod that gets rid of prom. <laughs> Um, but they're about to, uh, talk. Is she showing him the freaking, all the letters she just got? Girl. Okay, they're going back. She literally just walked over there to show him these fucking letters. Oh my goodness. And now they're talking and he's smiling. He is a cutie, y'all. He is adorable. Now, what I want to know is how her sister feels about him. Because he is an alien. Not that stethoscope has to date an alien. I'm just saying. Look at Car Now, karma is high as shit, bro. Girl. His time to go home. Um. Nah, because Teenage Me would have folded too. I can't blame her. No, he literally is so adorable. Um. Let's go ahead and... Vampire. No, 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 no. Um. We're going to interest... Uh, obsessed about favorite band. I could definitely see them talking about music together. Stephanie has been acting so weird, though. She's only been acting weird towards Karma, though. Not towards other people. She was super nice to, like, Teacup and the other... You are my favorite. Oh, girl, don't do that. Compliments. Give him some props. Okay. Maybe he was into some of the same music. Um... <gasps> The high five and him showing her something on the phone. See, this is just so innocent to me. I love it. Thank you, Court, for the passion, bro. Sorry, I'm taking a photo. I just love taking pictures of all this stuff. I'm gonna have to make a scrapbook with all my Shrekerverse photos because I just like I love them all so much. Um, and then we want to let's um, 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 um hobbies discuss archery. Okay, that is something that she can kind of talk about with Camp Occult, because she has been practicing her archery. Uh, not her giggling! Um, share my personality quirks. Rave about growing- hold on, I need the rave about growing up. 
I need the rave about growing up. And I think what she likes about this is like, okay, so I think that she does. Obviously, obviously she loves Flynn, okay? Like, she obviously cares deeply for him. But I think she has this guilt hanging around her with Flynn, you know? Like, she either feels like she isn't good enough for him or what she's done is so horrible to him that, you know, he deserves someone better or, like, you know, her to just leave him alone or whatever. But she doesn't have to feel guilty uh, being around Trevi, you know? She can just have fun. I can't deny they're pretty cute. I legit thought about making a Shrek versus Scrapbook girl. I might have to- Ooh, we could do scrapbooking on the retreat. Um, <clears throat> But the thing is, even if she does feel guilty about those things, I guarantee, share some personal details. You know what? It is five o'clock in the morning. Y'all done been hanging out. She is a little high. It might be time for that. Um, but, but I could print out a bunch of Shrekiverse photos to do scrapbooking with. Ooh, that would be so cute. How personal are we talking here, Karma? That look says it might now don't tell him what you did to flynn don't tell him that you created a half blood that is your bad secret do not tell him that he doesn't even know what the fuck she's talking about i don't know what the fuck she's talking about but i know that she wouldn't tell him that i know that oh draculaura just won their game of ping pong against mavis Trivet has learned that Karma is a high school student. Um, Triv Karma clued Trivet in on some personal details about her life, what she, her career, so like what she wants to do when she's older, I guess, and her financial status, which I guess that means like where she lives, like the fact that she's Hades' niece, which I think that's kind of a big deal that she's the niece of a god, okay? Hades is her uncle, okay? Um spread rumor about a classmate no karma would not do that karma is not one of those girls um <clears throat> i do want them to take a little photo um yeah she's so attracted to him is what's crazy no because she is so much street cred for being hades's niece and what's crazy is somebody tore up their cabin like she's not <gasps> confess daydream about him boast about messing around now karma you know that you have not lost your wuhenity confess daydream about him is crazy absolutely crazy she's so closed off there's no way there's no way she would tell him that no she wouldn't. Not Karma. Not Karma. Some of these other girls, maybe, but Karma would not. This does feel like a 5 a.m. combo, and that's a fact. And she's taking a photo at- oh my goodness, she's so high. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Oh my goodness, Karma! He does look a lot like Flynn. <gasps> oh, I'm gagged. Just want me to say hi. Hi. The way I'm gagged right now. The way I am gagged right now. Lordy Karma. <sighs> That is, okay, the sun's coming up, so she is going to have to go inside here in a second. Look at what's happening. Why does it look like a tent? Anyways, I usually don't talk, but I love this. I do love, I love that this whole experience at camp for Karma, other than them putting the garlic on her cabin, is really good. Is like, she's making new friends. Uh... She's trying to, like, be better, learn her skills and everything, and she, I think what's in the back of her mind, though, um, reveal, do not reveal your deep secret. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 
Let's give him a hug, and then you gotta go, girl, because the sun's coming up. Um, but yeah, I think what's kind of, like, lurking in the back of her mind is the fact that there's, like, all this stuff around, like, it's really bad to create a half-blood. And, oh, they didn't hug. She said, actually, not gonna hug him. And here comes her girls, like, Twilight said, sis, what are you doing? Are you okay? Are you singing in the mirror? Okay, Twilight is, she said, you're done. <gasps> Trivet ran off, and look at Karma's face after he just left. <gasps> she had a good night, y'all. She had a good night talking to the boy that she likes. I keep on losing the line. I'm, I'm blaming the storm. Oh, no. The way all her girls are running towards her right now to get the tea. Where did he go? Um... Oh, yeah, he's he's going back to his cabin. So they don't have any romance yet, but she's crushing, bro. She is definitely... Okay, she's starting to burn up in the sun. It's time to go in. It's time to go inside, Karma. Unfortunately. Wow. Is this Twilight as in Twilight Sparkle? Uh, her name is Twilight Buffy. <laughs> Um, gotta hop with Kesha Russ on YouTube. I'm about to end this episode anyways. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Camp Occult. I love doing Camp Occult. Oh, there's Siley. She's been working all night on her picture with all this art stuff around her and everything. I wish. Oh, wait, we gotta do the drawing. I will not forget the drawing. Um, I'm about to do the drawing for the next Pixarellaverse experience winner. Um, are you doing the drawing? Yes, yes, yes. I'm doing the drawing. Uh, I almost always forget toward by the end of live. I remember at the beginning, towards the end. Uh, <laughs> the pig is coming together so nice. Yes, I wish Siley would have met her mom because they are so much alike. Um, also, thank you guys for 150k likes. Okay, let's see who the next sim is going to be. I'm very excited. If you don't get drawn, don't worry. We are gonna keep on doing these. Um, I'm very excited. Okay. My Mel's! I don't know if she's in here right now. Oh, I about just got my camera knocked off. Is my Mel's in here right now? I know she was earlier. I don't know if she is right now. And her sticker says, um, and I believe she's been a Patreon subscriber since the beginning. It says enemies to lovers with some handcuffs on it. Congratulations to my mouse. I'm so excited to turn her into a sim. Once again, I don't know if she's still in here or not right this second. Um, we'll have to tag her in the Discord. Thank you, Core, for the jam gun. I don't have the Tickfinity set up, but thank you so much. Thank you for the confetti. Thank you, Morgan, for the lovely music in Fritter Center. I'm so excited for her. Um, I don't see her commenting in here. She's probably gonna be like, no, I missed it. Um... Thank you, Court, for the Galaxy, and Becky for the game controller. Y'all, we gotta go to Discord, and we gotta all tag her to let her know that she won. Um, so freaking exciting. So, so, so exciting. This has been a super fun Friday night. I'm not sure when my next stream will be, for sure by Monday, but I don't know if I'll be doing any more streams this weekend or not because of my mom and little sister coming into town. Um, but I'll be in the Discord, of course. Um, yeah, I love you all so much. I'll see you soon. Good night.